Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be finishing up the exploration of the rest of the Santa Ana Railway's North Shore Branch. In February, we explore the section of the line between St. George and Tower Hill. Today, we will continue from the next station after that, Elm Park. Elm Park Station opened on February 23rd, 1886 and closed on March 31st, 1953. It was located in the open cut under the Bayoni Bridge approach at Morning Star Road between Ennis Street and Newark Avenue. I observed some wooden ruins in the right of way, but I was not sure if it, it was part of the station. I tried to get a better angle of the right of way from a pedestrian bridge, but did not find anything too interesting. Leaving Elm Park, we head west to the next stop on the line, Lake Avenue. The station was located in an open cut on the west side of what it was named after. Lake Avenue Station opened in 1937 and closed on March 31, 1953. Looking down from Lake Avenue, we can clearly see the two side platform and track ruins of the station. This is when Pelt Avenue and this was the former site of the Mariners Harbor Station on the Staten Island Railway. Um, you're going to get a view of the right of way over here. Originally known as Irastina, the station opened in the summer of 1886 and like most of the other stations on the line, it closed on March 31st, 1953. Um, yeah, I'm going to go to the other side and see if I can find anything. Okay, actually there is something over here and it's a pretty obvious remnant, right? Um, you can actually see the entire platform. So this station was an island platform and there's a track on each side. Um, I think the track, I think there's water on it on the um on the right away and i don't know if the track is still there but you can see on this side on the left there is a track and this was the island platform of marina's harbor station okay maybe this will be a better angle you can see the entire So this is Harbor Road and right over here was approximately where the Harbor Road station used to be on the Staten Island Railway North Shore Bridge. Um, you can actually see one of the tracks is still there and it's actually in pretty good shape. Um, from the from the from what I researched online, um, I think they are actually reusing these tracks right now for freight or something. Unlike most other stations on the line that opened in the 1880s, Harbor Road Station opened during the Great Crossing Elimination Project between 1935 and 1937 and closed on March 31st, 1953. This section of the line was reactivated for freight trains around 2007. I am now on South Avenue and this is the only section of the Santa Ana Railway North Shore Branch that is still being used for freight service. And you can see a freight train coming through here right now. Arlington station is supposed to be in this area, but I think it is removed after they reactivated for freight. I'm going to try to see if I can find anything. Arlington station opened between 1889 and 1890 and closed on March 31st, 1953. The station was where most trains on the line turned back toward St. George. The station structure was removed from the expanded Arlington freight yard 
when this section of the line was reactivated for freight trains. The final stop on the line is Port Ivory. The station opened in 1906 and closed to passengers in 1948. The site of Port Ivory Station was very hard to access, thus there isn't much to see there, so I decided to end my exploration at Arlington. There have been proposals on reactivating the North Shore branch for passenger service. In 2012, MTA did a study on its reactivation and preferred bus driver transit as the mode. However, more than 10 years later, this plan went nowhere. From my experience of riding the S40 bus along Richmond Terrace, I can clearly feel the need for added capacity on the North Shore. My solution will be for it to be reactivated as a heavy rail line and through run it with the current Staten Island Railway. In the future, if a subway to Staten Island is built, it could become one of the branches of the subway line. This project should be cost effective since the right of way is still there. They just need to clean it up and rebuild the stations. I will get deeper into this topic in a future video. This series of abandoned railroad exploration costs a lot of effort to produce, so if you enjoyed it and want the series to continue, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share it to more people so it could have a better reach. In the comments, please tell me which abandoned railroad line in Europe you would like me to explore next. If you have not, please also check out part 1 of the Staten Island Railway North Shore Branch Exploration where I explore the section of the line between St. George and Tower Hill or other abandoned railway explorations in this playlist. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.